integrated into their theology, the notion of the kind of end of the world. And I think that a lot of psychedelic experimentation sort of confirms uh, this intuition. I mean, it, it isn't going to happen according to any of the scenarios of uh, orthodox religion, but the basic intuition that the universe seeks closure in a kind of omega point of transcendence is confirmed. It's almost as though this object in hyperspace, glittering in hyperspace, throws off reflections of itself, which actually ricochet into the past, illuminating this mystic, inspiring that saint or visionary, and that out of these fragmentary glimpses of eternity, uh, we can build a kind of map of not only the past of the universe and the evolutionary ingression into novelty, but a kind of map of the future. This is what shamanism has always been about. A shaman is someone who has been to the end. It's someone who knows how the world really works. And knowing how the world really works means to have risen outside, above, beyond the dimensions of ordinary space-time and casuistry and actually seen the wiring under the board, stepped outside the confines of learned culture and uh, uh, learned and embedded language into the domain what Wittgenstein called the unspeakable, the transcendental presence of the other, which can be sectioned in various ways to yield systems of knowledge which can be brought back into ordinary social space for the good of the community. So in the context of 90% of human culture, the shaman has been the agent of evolution because the shaman learns the techniques to go between ordinary reality and the domain of the ideas, this higher dimensional continuum that is somehow parallel to us, available to us, and yet ordinarily occluded by a cultural convention out of fear of the mystery, I believe. And what shamans are are people who have been able to decondition themselves from the communities instinctual distrust of the mystery and to go into it, to go into this bewildering higher dimension and uh, gain knowledge, recover the jewel lost at the beginning of time, save souls, cure, commune with the ancestors, so forth and so on. A shamanism is not a religion, it's a set of techniques and the principal technique is the use of psychedelic uh, plants. What psychedelics do is they dissolve boundaries. And in the presence of dissolved boundaries, one cannot continue to close one's eyes to the ruination of the earth, the poisoning of the seas, and the consequences of 2,000 years of unchallenged dominator culture based on monotheism, hatred of nature, suppression of the female, so forth and so on. So what shamans have to do is act as exemplars by making this cosmic journey to the domain of the Gaian ideas and then bringing them back in the form of art to the struggle to save the world.
shamanism is not a religion, it's a set of techniques. And the principal technique is the use of psychedelic uh, plants.
Thank you.